another sporty and spectacular start to my day during my stay within the boundaries of the Sleeping Bear Dunes National Lakeshore. It's about a 30 minute climb from the Lake Michigan shoreline to the top of the Pier Stocking Scenic Drive, site number nine. From platform number nine, you can witness in awe what the ABC television series, Good Morning America, once named the most beautiful place in America, the Sleeping Bear Dunes National Lakeshore. Really, you don't have to ascend the sand dune in order to take in this amazing and wonderful view. From the top side of the Pierce Stocking Scenic Drive, you can see that there is a warning sign about descending the vertical hill that takes you down to the Lake Michigan shoreline. I've been up and down the hill three times in the last three days. But many people choose to descend the dune once they arrive. Most of them then must ascend the steep, slippery hillside in order to return to their vehicles that they parked in a lot along the Pierce Stocking Scenic Drive. I met a family just like that, the Neds. Is this your second time here? Yeah. Uh, tell me why you came back. It, it's for this, the view of the of the lake, and the kids are excited to run down the hill and, and, and uh, attempt to run up it again. <laughs> You've done that once before. What did yeah. you think about it when you did it the first time? I thought I was going to die. <laughs> I am not kidding. I was, I was, I, I, as I'm running down the hill, I see people sitting along the hill, and, and I'm thinking, oh, they're just sitting there enjoying the view of the lake. And as I'm climbing back up, I realize they're, they're, they're exhausted and they're, and, and, and they're resting. And uh, it took me 40 minutes to get back up, and it was the hardest thing I think I've ever done in my life, um, physically. Well, when it was I went terrible. down, um, I, it was kind of the same, but I didn't really have to rest, because I'm younger. But, <laughs> <laughs> um, Thanks. Thanks for that. <laughs> uh, yeah, but it was very tiring. Gabe and his sister, Chloe, reached the base of the dune and were near the Lake Michigan shoreline as I descended the dune one last time. No face, but it is a public place. Just keep that in mind. I passed some people who preferred not to be featured in this story.
All right, Gabe, I got permission to shoot you guys. Come on up. Tell your dad and mom that I got some footage of you guys on the hill I might use too. Yeah. Thank you. I watched from below as the two kids kept working their way up this magnificent mound of sand. Then, as I stood steadfast on the shore of Lake Michigan, I could see that they had reached their destination. They completed their 450-foot vertical climb.